Hi. We're going to uh, continue our discussion of GIMP today with something that is uh, really dynamic. In fact, it really looks like it's magic every time it happens uh, or every time I watch it at work. Um, it's called exposure blending. What it basically is is, is um, the digital cameras usually have uh, the dynamic range uh, very much the equivalent of slide film. They're, uh, they're narrow. You're either going to capture the highlights the shadows or the mid-tones or, you know, two out of three, but usually not all three out of three on a sunny or high contrasty day. So what we have to do is um, we have to sometimes um, fool the uh, person who's looking at the photograph by thinking that they're looking at a picture that it was actually a combination of several shots. Well, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take this picture right here which is not an extreme example, but um, here's a picture where the sky isn't too bad, the road's a little washed out, this side of the building's a little washed out, and um, this side of the building is definitely underexposed. So you know, we got a little bit of exposure, overexposure here, a little overexposure here, um, semi-correct exposure here. But what we want to do is we want to expose this correctly this correctly, this correctly, and this correctly. <coughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine three shots. This is done in GIMP by loading um, what's called a script. If you have any trouble loading this script, it's called exposure blending. It's easily found on the web, um, and it's also found under uh, the GIMP plugin repository. Um, the thing is, is what we're going to do is we're going to take this image, which is target, we're going to combine it with an overexposed image and an underexposed image to produce a better image than is here. So I'm going to close these. This is target exposure, overexposure, and underexposure. I'm going to close those. I'm going to leave this one open so we can compare. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to extensions, photography, exposure blend, I've already loaded these up. We have a normal exposure um, picture or image. We have a short exposure image, which is uh, dark or underexposed. And we have a long exposure image, which is bright, which is uh, overexposed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, OK. It's now taking those three images, loading them up in separate layers, doing all kinds of magic and coming out with a third picture, which if you'll notice, if I can make a little bit more screen real estate here, um, the side is definitely much darker or brighter. The, um, the sky is um, quite a bit lighter. And if you'll notice, the side of the building is now a little bit darker. And as the street is a little bit darker. So we have taken these three images and uh, pulled them together into a single image. Now if I go into my dialogues and if I take a look at the layers, we will see that they're all loaded up in layers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into my layer manager and I'm going to merge down. And now if we look at dialogues and layers, we have two layers left. And then I'm going to come to my layers and I'm going to merge down again. And now this should have been produced inside a single layer. So what I can do now is I can go into my colors. I can go into my brightness and contrast dialog. Um, I can increase my contrast slightly. Um, I think the brightness looks OK. So I'm going to say OK. I'm going to come into my colors. I'm going to come into hue and saturation. We'll add a little bit of saturation to it. What they say, Fujiize it. And now we have a pretty, or pretty acceptable photograph that was produced out of three. Uh, thank you for watching.